because we're back with Blaze. So this is such a young puppy. Um, what I would never do is put a silk chain or a pinch collar on this dog and attempt to communicate with it. Someone just shakes her head at me. She can't even believe people do this. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that smells like deer poop that this dog rolled in. We're going to have to go see what's over there because I bet yeah, it is. Yeah, Look at him just on his own defaulting to the dam. Oh, he is a precious, precious angel. So I'm going to reward the behavior even though I'm not telling him to do anything. So what we want to start is shaping the behavior of heel because that's going to be in the same family as the coming to you. I want to interject the pager as quickly as possible into every dynamic. Not as quickly as possible. Have the dog learn. That hasn't been my experience. I, that isn't being ex my experience with people. How many times around here a day, Summer, do we say, when will they learn? So we're not going to have it in our mind that the dog learned. We're going to continue teaching them until they're 14. <laughs> At which point, that's what I told that girl with Nick, because now he's 13. I said, well, you can finally, I didn't even put the, even put the collar on him when she came to pick him up summer. Yeah. I just handed her the collar. I'm like, you know, do we really still need this? Yeah. I'm actually telling someone to stop using the collar because the dog is 13. All right, but what I do want to be very delicate, a dog like this, I can tell you, if you put, they're very, very sensitive. The only reason I'm going to fiddle with it here is because I want, I need it to be a little bit different place on his neck. And I will tell you what goes to the advantage here. He's already used, and that's what I see with a lot of dogs. This electronic collar is not seeming strange to him with its size or anything because they've already got him all this bling on his neck. You know what I mean? He's used to disregarding what's on his neck. Mm -hmm. You do because that's why people forget their sunglasses on their head yeah. and me saying, standing here screaming, Summer, where is the remote? Where? And you're saying, oh, In you your hand. Your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And at which point my character says, whoops, this is the writers. It's not me. The real Kelly's not like that. Summer will tell you she's very chill. All right, so what I want to say to myself is I'm going to shape the behavior of heal, not correct the dog for not healing. I'm not even going to do the, the walking thing at this point. I'm just going to work on shaping the behavior that I want, and I already started doing that this morning. Classes start very early around here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I am going to really enunciate, and I'm going to augment, and I'm going to have heightened reality. Place! He's not that hungry right now. Good. Oh, he's getting hungrier, though. Good, good, good. Place, good boy. So I pushed him just a tiny bit forward right there. Let me just do it a little bit because he's not quite hes not quite as flashy. And, and that's what I want to stress to you guys. The reason I did it really early this morning because he was very peppy. Oh, he's getting peppy now, though. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if I said to myself, for 40 seconds, I can get him to do that. And then tomorrow, I can get him to do it for 50 seconds. If he lays down on his own, I'm going to reward him. He's ready now. He was just tired. All right, so look, I got my pager. I've got my leash. And I'm... I'm specifically posturing with this, you guys. I'm pretending like he's um, new check somatic. <laughs> the Duncans are like home. <laughs> <laughs> new check somatic is a dressage horse. He's the champion dressage horse. All right, but that's what I'm, I'm helping him understand. This is how I'm going to manipulate and control you. I'm not going to do it through virtue of jerking this leash. I would never do that. All right, look. So I, I, I want the pager and the food to be together too, though. Please. So I got, I added a little bit of leash pressure with my pager, but it was to get him away from the food, and luckily Birdie's cleaning up the crumbs, but he, he was in dry because when he was coming to me, that's what you guys say, they don't have that look in their eye, please don't train them, please don't train them, please. Already sees he's gonna have the little flashy little turns. 
So that's all I'm doing. I'm rewarding him right here. Because remember, that's it right there. If I can have an Akita that heals like a Schnitzen dog, my life will be complete. I will be able to scratch that off my bucket list, Summer. So what I'm saying to myself is if, if I want to teach a dog to heal, if I'm taking a clean slate, which is what this puppy is, and I'm going to teach it how to heal, I better start from its nose. All right, that squirrel is right over there. starting I'm I'm putting his okay let me say it like this I'm putting his head where I want it to be I'm not looking at his shoulders I'm not looking at his any of that I'm, I'm I want his head to, if I want his head to be right there I've got to say that if I don't say that he doesn't know that I wanted to help him understand at this point to, to, to I'm going to use, be able to use the collar to manipulate you. I can already see it. He's going to spin like a shitsin dog. But that's what I'm saying to myself. That, that's heel, essentially. No, he's not sitting or downing or anything. But what I'm looking at is his head. See, I'm keeping the leash. Good. And I mean, you inadvertently end up fostering with this thing. I can't wait for my friend Catalan to see you healing like a little champion. That's it. That's healed, though, you guys. That's what I'm saying. If, if anything, if anything, I'm saying to myself as the trainer, I'm controlling his eyes. That, that's what I'm saying because. I'm controlling where his eyes are looking. If I'm doing that, and I'm adding my pager right there at every single turn, I'm not seeing if I can get him to do without it. Um, that, that's what I'm saying to myself. If I'm controlling its eyes, you know, if, if you want one, let me maybe say it like this. If you want one that's going to look at you and heal, you better start mentioning that right from the very beginning. All right, we're going to try. <laughs> Tell you what we don't like around here, people that didn't mention stuff. And we're forced to say things like, I wish you would have mentioned that. <sighs> if he lays down on his own, I'll tell you what, he's going to get lots of prizes. Because that's what we want to go, you know. You know, and if I had to say he's medium energy. He likes to play a lot, but he also gets tired and needs to take lots of naps. I didn't even keep him in the cage last night. I'm just going to tell right now. He's already getting spoiled. He's not been good with the cage. But he slept right by my bed. He's just mm -hmm. very loyal. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to just try to get a little slow-mo of that head. But that's where we're heading with that is really that little bit more flashy healing. And I know you're not always going to use that, but that's where you want to start. You know, that you're... And again, I mean, if you said to me, you know, you don't have his attention, I would say, 